we have decided together that surgery is the best treatment option um, for the child, then I mean, we realize that there's a lot of anxiety and a lot of questions that you might have about it. And we want to make sure that we can give you the right information to make sure that you, at least that we're taking the unknown out of the process. The benefits from having eye muscle surgery can be numerous. Um, they're really not just cosmetic. It's not just to help your child look uh, more quote unquote normal. It's to really reestablish the ability for them to use both their eyes together. We'll go over really why we think this procedure will benefit your child, what the risks might be, what to expect on the day of surgery, and what to anticipate postoperatively. Every child who has eye muscle surgery is asked to come for what's called a preoperative visit. The purpose of that visit is really twofold. So the first thing that we do is we take a special set of measurements that really is the determining basis for what kind of procedure we do and really helps us titrate how much strengthening or weakening of the muscles that we need to perform. When you arrive to the, the surgical facility that day, you're really met by a whole team of professionals who, whose goal is to make sure that everything runs very smoothly, safely, and really to make your child feel as comfortable as they can be. Typically, kids are taken into the operating room awake and they're gently put to sleep by breathing anesthetic gases through a soft mask that's placed over their uh, nose and mouth. And in some situations, um, parents can even be the one to accompany their child into the operating room. And as they're falling asleep, they can um, hold their hand, sing them a song, even give them a kiss before they go to sleep. Um, and then usually an IV is placed once they're asleep, which is really nice that they don't have to feel that poke. Um, even in the recovery area, when children are waking up, we uh, try to get the parents with the child as soon as possible so that they're not waking up scared. There's a wide range that can be felt after surgery. Um, I have some patients that go home with their eyes wide open and act like nothing has happened, and I have other patients who are in a fair amount of discomfort initially. Every child is different, every person is different, but it's very normal to feel some degree of light sensitivity, soreness, and irritation. It's very common to have the eyes be bloodshot red and it's typically going to start in the area of the incision. But over the next few days after surgery, it's very common for some of that bloodshot red color to spread to other parts of the eye. That's very normal, very normal. It's harmless, it's painless, and it's basically just like a bruise, and it will fade away every day just like a bruise would. It's very normal for children to experience some double vision after surgery as their brain is trying to get used to the new position of the eyes. Typically, this resolves within a few days to a few weeks, but sometimes it can take a little bit longer than that. It's also very common for children not to want to open their eyes for a couple days after surgery. Um, I think part of that is just because of the discomfort they feel, but part of that I think is from the anxiety that they might be experiencing. Eye pain is not like anything kids have typically experienced in the past, so I think it can be very scary for them to want to open their eyes. Once they do, they typically realize, okay, I can do this, and then it's usually not a problem after that. Parents often ask me, if this were your child, would you do the surgery? And I think that's a great question because really that's the litmus test. We want to make sure that we treat your child the way that we would want our children to be treated. At Children's Eye Care, all the surgeons are not just surgeons, they're also parents. And so we make a point of being with you every step of the way. If you have any questions, any concerns, we are always here for you.